Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. Central media singled out Wang Yibo and Lee Kin for their amazing acting in The Storm Chaser. CCTV did not hesitate to praise the latest hit drama The Storm Chaser, praising the lead actors Wang Yibo and Lee Kin for their extraordinary and stunning acting skills. Since its launch, this spy drama has firmly captured the hearts of the audience with its tense plot and unique charm. In The Storm Chaser, Wang Yibo plays the changeable Wei Rule, while Li Qin plays the emotional Shan Jinshen. Although the two actors have been controversial before, they are like phoenixes rising from the ashes in this drama, showing a breathtaking transformation in their acting skills. CCTV even condescended to write a long article in support, which is rare in the TV drama industry. Wang Yibo performed Wei Rule's inner drama with great depth and clarity, completely getting rid of the dumb image that was criticized before. His performance is like a delicate painting, vividly showing the complex emotions of the character. Li Qin, on the other hand, burst out emotionally in the play, turning her previous excessive force into a bonus point for her performance. Her acting skills shine like bright stars. The outstanding performances of the two people were hailed as turnarounds and made the audience sit up and take notice. In addition to the young leading actors, veteran actors Wang Zuki and Wang Yang also performed impeccably. However, the central media's long article focused on Wang Yibo and Li Qin, praising their performances as the key to the success of the series. From the plot to the character creation, both of them presented themselves to the audience with a brand new attitude, making people no longer stick to the label of can't act. Storm Chaser is not only a hit series, but also a feast of great acting comebacks. The outstanding performances of Wang Yibo and Li Qin allowed people to see their growth and progress, and also made the audience full of expectations for domestic dramas. Netizens continue to discuss the drama, and discussions about the drama continue to rise on social platforms such as Weibo and Dubin. The acting skills of Wang Yibo and Li Qin have become the focus of heated discussion among netizens. Fans even organized spontaneously to clear the names of the two actors, hoping to wash away their previous bad labels for satellite TV stations broadcast the spy drama together. The suspense by drama When the Stars Shine starring Li Xian, Ren Min, Zhou Yu, and Wang Zixuan is announced to be broadcast on Hunan Satellite TV on April 15. Full stop. The financial spy drama Storm Chaser starring Wang Yibo and Li Qin will premiere on Jiu Jiu Satellite TV's prime time slot on April 12. The spy drama Harbin 1944 starring Qin Hao and Yang Mi is currently tentatively scheduled to be broadcast on April 20 and will star on Oriental and Beijing Satellite TV. The four satellite TV stations, which are basically the most influential and highest rated local satellite TV stations in my country, launched their own spy dramas at the same time. What's even more coincidental is that the leading actors in several spy dramas are mainly traffic oriented. Yang Mi, Wang Yibo, and Li Xian are some of the top celebrities. It can be seen that these works are the type of direction that traffic users want to transform and try. However, at first glance, they seem to be the main ones, but the actual situation is that they need help from others. Don't think that traffic can make all the difference, just stamp your foot and the entertainment industry will tremble. After traffic is labeled as traffic, it has been difficult to take off the label. Take Yang Mi as an example. Li Shao Huang trained Yang Mi in the direction of becoming a good actor in the early days. It can be seen in many dramas at the beginning of her debut that she has a certain foundation of acting skills but it is just a template. To this day, Yang Mi still uses a formula to perform all emotions. After she is defined as traffic, it seems that it indirectly means that she has no acting skills. In fact, Yang Mi still has it, otherwise it would be impossible for so many roles over the years to leave a deep impression on everyone. Another example is Li Xian, who also worked as a minor star in many online dramas in the early days. He originally took it one step at a time, but ended up taking a shortcut in filming Dare, Love with Yang Zi, and suddenly overtook and counterattacked. As he becomes a popular actor, people subconsciously equate him with being in the ranks of those with poor acting skills. Many traffic people have always hoped that they can be recognized. Unfortunately, because they are too prestigious and have too little reputation as traffic, people have always been unable to accept that they also have certain acting skills. To give another opposite example, there are many so-called bastard actors in the entertainment industry. They are not particularly famous, and their acting skills may not be as good as those with traffic, but because they have no traffic, they can always remain invisible. Sometimes you can keep a low profile until you reach an advanced age, and you still have the nerve to say that you are a capable person. 
If you compare it like this, popular actors are also very frustrated. They have no choice but to make more money, be popular, and have many fans. Traffic cannot remain traffic all your life. Time will pass by. Excellent works are the confidence to walk in the entertainment industry. The current three to five years may still be in the limelight. In ten or eight years, if you want to continue filming, you must quickly transform. But then again, can they transform themselves however they want? Idle dramas are definitely not allowed to be filmed, but a great director who can train actors will not let these traffic people sincerely let them take the leading role in making a movie. Ever since, everyone can see that for a while, many popular actors all plunged into the big pit of suspense dramas. Suspense dramas have experienced periodic blowouts, and everyone has seen it before. However, the proliferation of a drama genre can lead to predictable results, the drama becomes less and less innovative, and the quality of the scripts gradually declines. Most of the time, the drama is loud but the rain is small. So at this juncture, if these popular actors want to transform, what channels should they take? A costumed Machiavellian drama? The cost is too high and unrealistic, and the chances of a costume drama becoming a star are too low now. A historical drama with the main theme. Generally, older actors are required, and there are few works that make the audience stay up all day long. Urban life drama? I really don't know whether it should be difficult for the actors or the screenwriters. Most urban life dramas are superficial and do not dare to delve deeply into the pain points of society. After watching it, there is another spy drama. As one of the classic film and television themes of domestic dramas, this genre has produced many excellent works. Many actors stand out through spy dramas and reach a high position in the entertainment industry. For example, Yao Chen wiped out Guo Furin's label with latent. A good spy drama can help a comedian with such a high national popularity change his impression, not to mention how much opportunity it gives to popular actors. In addition, spy dramas have great advantages in terms of production costs and chances of passing review. Shooting a spy drama, on the one hand, allows the popular actors to temporarily take off their idol attire, without having to wear modern clothes or ancient costumes. The costumes of the Republic of China are very unique. On the other hand, this type of drama has a relatively good reputation, and actors can also establish a positive attitude towards their own development. In short, we hit it off immediately. The really core and critical question is, who are the audiences for people who have always loved spy dramas? Relatively speaking, they tend to be middle-aged and above. If you look back at the years when spy dramas were about gods fighting, you can figure out who loves spy dramas the most. When we look at the lineup of these spy war dramas that will meet you soon, we can actually find clues. Yang Mi partners with Kin Hao, behind Wang Yibo is Wang Yang. As for Li Xian, there is a gathering of powerful actors. Maybe viewers who like to watch spy dramas won't pay for these traffic stars, but they will definitely pay for these actors they like. Wind. Chaser meeting. Wang Yibo no longer wears a hat, Wang Yang becomes more tender, and Li Qin's legs are amazing. Two popular top dramas compete on the same stage, and the popularity can be said to be almost equal. However, the theme of walking with the phoenix itself is more advantageous, while Storm Chaser is a spy war theme that has not been released in a long time. Under such a disadvantage, Storm Chaser can still remain in the top three of the hot list. Kama has been very successful. Judging from the plot setting and direction, Storm Chaser is very different from previous spy war themes. It not only talks about the confrontation between our side and other forces during the anti-Japanese war, but also incorporates financial elements. This makes Storm Chaser more interesting than other spy dramas, but the corresponding shooting difficulty will also be greatly increased. However, the overall story structure is very clear, mainly describing Wei Rulei's growth in the financial field and personal thoughts and beliefs. The series did not rush to let Wei Rulei, played by Wang Yibo, join our camp, but allowed him to see the true face of military commanders after experiencing various incidents, thus finding a direction and strengthening his faith. This alone it is more real and more delicate. In the plot near the end, Wei Rule successfully became a member of our camp, and the next highlight will focus on Shen Tunin, played by Wang Yang. He is a firm believer in the three people's principles and always believes that he can reverse the decline of military unification through his own efforts. However, after many compromises, he also began to doubt whether his belief was correct. When Shen Tunin saw that the people in the Soviet area were living a prosperous and happy life under our leadership, he was shaken again. Next, he is likely to be influenced by his sister and apprentice Wei Ruelei to join the right camp. 
Looking at this plot trend, people can't help but look forward to the formation of a new iron triangle. The reason why Storm Chaser is successful is not only that the plot is logical, but also the performance of the actors is also good. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.